Thank you to everyone who watched the Jim Gaffigan show, by the way. I appreciate it. And if you didn't watch, that just means you're a jerk. But no, but thank you if you did watch, because there are so many television shows and episodes of television shows we could and should be watching. It's amazing any of us are here right now. It's kind of overwhelming, DVR, on demand. Sometimes I open my Netflix, I'm like, I don't think I can do it. I'm not even gonna make a dent here. And I know there's pressure, we all feel it, because we've developed excuses for our friends, like we're dealing with debt collectors. You watch Game of Thrones? I'm a little behind. Uh, give me a week, my wife had a dumb baby. And it's never ending. You finish that show, now you have to watch this show, and then you have, no, now I need to learn how to read again. I need to sound out some words and see if I can read. <laughs> Have you read a physical book lately? Not on a tablet or a laptop, an actual book. You feel like you're Abe Lincoln. <laughs> oh, it's made of wood, hope it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> when does this have to be back at the museum? Because we're all binge watching. I remember when they first introduced the idea of binge watching, I was like, how pathetic. I'm just gonna watch an episode or two. I haven't showered in a week. <laughs> I'm a grandfather. I missed my own funeral. I binge watch shows I don't even like. This is pretty bad, I guess I'll watch five more episodes. <laughs> I watched every episode of True Blood and I'm not even gay. I know some of you are like, Jim, watching True Blood doesn't mean you're gay. That's because you're gay. <laughs> it's the number one cause of gayness. <laughs> My friends don't understand. They're like, when do you watch? You have five kids. I ignore them. <laughs> I can't go to that recital. I'm re-watching West Wing. It's embarrassing how I consume television. There are nights when I've told myself, all right, one more season. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I mean, come on. It's hard to stop. You see the ending. You want the accomplishment, right? Oh, you ran a 10K? Yeah, I finished Mad Men. I did it. I'm a little sore, but I did it. I'm a television athlete. I'm a telathlete. It's strange when you get done watching an entire series. You don't know what to do with yourself. You're like, I haven't been this lost since the ending of Lost. Should I go to a bar? I don't know if I remember how to talk to people. <laughs> and starting a new show, that's kind of like a blind date, right? You know, well, my friend said you were great. <laughs> I'm free tonight, so. I think I'm ready to put myself back out there. Because we have relationships with these television shows. You ever break up with a show, you watch a bunch of episodes and you're like, it's over. I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> I gave up the best nights of my life. Netflix, they won't let you forget your mistakes. They keep them in your queue. <laughs> Remember this relationship? I was drunk. <laughs> I was on the rebound. They'll make suggestions. Since you enjoyed True Blood, here's some other gay shows. <laughs> Maybe I would like the L word. I don't know. Netflix has definitely made watching television with commercials kind of painful. It takes forever. You're like, what am I, growing my own food here? <laughs> All right, Geico, we get it! <laughs> and it's not just the length or the number of the commercials. It's what the commercials say about the typical viewer of the show you're watching. <laughs> Catheter? <laughs> Why would... Reverse mortgage? Back pain? <gasps> I do have back pain. <laughs> you know me so well, television show. I watch a lot of cable news because I enjoy being depressed. <laughs> That's the only reason to watch. After five minutes, they just repeat the same stories. Remember that horrible thing? Wait till we show you 20 more times. <laughs> you won't be able to sleep. I think it's interesting how all the cable newscasters are very attractive. They're very attractive and they're dressed up. 
I don't know why. You know, you're talking about a hurricane. What's with the evening gown? <laughs> but we all kind of watch like, thanks for showing some leg. <laughs> Cable newscasters are so attractive, when they interview a regular person, it's visually distracting. <laughs> like, is that a bad guy? <laughs> or a victim? I know they're a loser in this scenario, but... <laughs> But the newscasters, those are our town gossips, right? And that's what newscasters are, they're town gossips. They're like, you're not gonna believe what happened to this person you've never met before. <laughs> Isn't that sad? By the way, there's some weird stuff going on in England. I have a friend, John, over there. John, why don't you tell him about it? <laughs> Thanks, John. Isn't that horrible? By the way, it's gonna rain tomorrow. I'm like 99% positive it's gonna rain, and that's sad. <laughs> Most of my friends under the age of 30 don't even have cable. And I'm like, Wh where do you send your $500 a month? <laughs> It'd be embarrassing to have cable, right? You have cable? Ah, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> you know, when, when I die. Wow, you look good. But you know what would make you look even better? Hitting the subscribe button. If it's there, just hit it.